Hello. Today, we will see how to control channels. First of all, we'll see how to select them, one by one, by groups, and in different ways. So first of all, we can do it from the mouse. The mouse lets you click on any channel you need. One click to select, one click to deselect. This is a toggle function. Then to deselect, you can click on the selected ones to deselect them. Or if you want to deselect in one time, you just double click in an area with nothing. Grey backgrounds like that, and it deselects everything. So if you want to do that now from the keyboard, we just select channel 1. and then press Channel. You get exactly the same. Then if you want to go to the next one, press plus. And you will move to the next one. And plus again, and so on. If you want to control several at a time, you could say one channel, three plus, five plus. And from the keyboard, if you want to deselect everything, you just press clear here and then channel, which deselects as well. If you want to get one block of channels together, you just say, for instance, one channel five through, and you get the same. If you want to remove a channel from its group, you just say, for example, three dash, and it will be removed from the current selection. If you say seven plus, you will add more channels to your selection. This is the basic mode when you are using the mouse. You are in a kind of adding mode, where every time you click, you add to the current selection, which is easy. So if you want to have more than one channel, you just click as many as you need. If you need a block of channels, you deselect first, and then one, and then you press shift on your alpha keyboard. You hold shift down and you press the last one of your selection. Five here and it will fill all the channels between. So again, here it's easy to remove one channel because as we saw, it's a toggle function. Clicking here, we deselect channel three from the group. And if you don't have the keyboard beside you and you need a block selection, you could say you first click on one and then press the through key on your keyboard and you click on the last channel of your block and it will act like a shift on your alpha keyboard. A few more tips now to work faster. So for example, we saw how to deselect easily either by double clicking in a grey area here or from the keyboard where you just press clear and then channel. Another way to do it if you have your alpha keyboard close to you. If you have a current selection, you can just press 0 and C. C for channel, which does the same as clear, and then channel from the alpha keyboard again. If you want to select, you just press 1 on your alpha keyboard, and then C like channel, which selects channel 1. And you can also go to another one with the 3C for example and then you can press the star, which goes to the next one, which is the equivalent of the plus on the console keyboard. Now, if you have some values already set, and then, for example, you have this one only selected, if on the console you press invert, it will invert the selection between the latest selection and the other channels with a level. Or you can do it from your alpha keyboard, pressing I, which does the same. From your alpha keyboard, you can also select everything with the A key, which does everything. So, zero channel to deselect, A key. And then from the console keyboard, you can also use the all function, which selects everything 
exactly like the A key on the Alpha keyboard. And you can also select some particular channels. Let's say that if we have a selection like this, in this selection, only some of them have a value. So in this case, you could either, from the mouse, right-click somewhere to get the right-click menu, and then you can choose Trim Selection to If On, which means that you will reduce the selection to only the channels with a level. You can do that also from the console keyboard, where this time you can say Through and All, which does the same from the mouse side. If you, for example, want to work now only on the channel 4, that means you don't want to modify anymore the other current levels. If you select, as we said, with the mouse, you add to selection, which means that all my other channels are still selected and are subject to being modified if I move the wheel or set any level. So if I want now just to adjust channel 4, instead of just clicking, which adds it to the current selection, I double-click on it, which selects channel 4, and deselects any other channel, and then I can adjust my level. So if I want to adjust my level again using my mouse, press the right click and holding the right click down, moving my mouse up or down, and I can see my level changing at the same time. If I want to do it from the console keyboard, I can say 4 channel, I can say channel 4, and now just move the wheel. Of course, everything that we already see for the selection is working. For example, if I press A from my PC keyboard, I select everything, all active channels. And of course, my wheel will adjust all the current levels, related to the current levels at which the controller has been happening. So this is the way to smoothly adjust the level. If I already know the level I want to go to, I can directly type the value I need from my console keyboard. For example, 50, 5 and 0, and then press At, which will set all the current selection to this level. I can also use the plus percent and minus percent keys, which lets me increase or decrease the levels by 5%, but this level of 5% can be changed easily. In the setup preference and then into the intensity. Here you can choose in this area what level you want to increase or decrease by. You can also decide at any time what different value you want to increase or decrease your levels by. So for example if I need to get all those levels with 10% or more I just press 10 on my console keyboard and then press plus percent which will add 10% to those levels. If for any reason I want to have a kind of relative increment adjustment or proportional adjustment, so let's say that this one is by 30% and this one at 60%, if I add 10% to those two channels, they will be incremented by 10%, which will probably give a difference between 30% and 60% level. So if you want to get something proportional to their level, we press 10 and then Alt and plus percent which adds a proportional value to the current value. 30 goes to 33, and 60 goes to 66.